forlorn plants and we go to a Division I regional matchup between two powerhouses. Meeting for the first time, undefeated Belleville at home taking on the unbeaten technicians from Cass Tech. Belleville in black looking for its third straight regional crown. Opening possession, Kobe Langford powers his way in from four yards out. Tigers led 7-0 after the first. More from the Tigers in the second. State champs Mr. Football candidate Christian Reed fakes the handoff, fires it into the arms of Rashad Wilson. They went for two and got it and increase their advantage to 15-3. Cast Tech in the regionals for the 10th time in 11 seasons. Ensuing drive. Sophomore Southpaw QB LeSean Mumfield slings it to Jameel Gardner on the slant. The junior will leave everyone in his wake. 74 yards to the house. Technicians trail 15 to 10 at the half. But the Belleville defense turned it up a notch in the second half. Mumfield pressured. His pass picked off by Cameron Dyson. And the junior will take it the other way for a 25-yard score. Tigers now up 22 to 10. Then after causing another turnover, Belleville back to work. Do read the quick dish to Tyree Lockett in the end zone. The Ville rolling up 19. What did I tell you? Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gonna pop pressure! Pressure! I want them to tap out! Tap! Tap, tap, tap! Stop! They weren't done. The MHSAA's career touchdown passing leader adding to his totals. Do read recently offered by Alabama State. Three straight completions set up this three yard TD pass to Lockett. Do read went 12 of 19 for 184 yards. It was a 36 to 10 game. Cast Tech had only given up 67 points total all season. Final play of the third, the Tigers junior Charles Wilson with the interception, and he's making reservations for six. Nobody's going to catch him. A 90-yard interception return, completing a 28-point quarter for Belleville. The Tigers take down Cast Tech for its third straight regional title, 43 to 16 the final. Belleville will now get a postseason rematch to see if they can knock out West Bloomfield in consecutive seasons. They'll be at home next week in a highly anticipated Division I state semifinal. It feel good because we could I couldn't practice without my guys for a long time, and us coming back and having like a week or two. Just to practice and we was all back on the same page, it just felt good.